Hello everybody, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and today I want to go over some typography rules so you guys know how what to do and what not to do when you are creating your text. So you may knew, know how to use the uh, text tool and, and everything in After Effects but when you start creating your stuff it looks unprofessional and people say it sucks when you try to have them critique it and you get all mad and can't figure out what's going on so I'm gonna give you some basic rules to follow so you don't have to deal with that and you already know what's uh, happening so when you uh, sometimes when you give your uh, first rendition of what you're making to your client and he sees that it looks unprofessional and your typography is all messed up sometimes they don't even respond back to you and that's happened to me before when I first started out and I didn't know why and then I figured it out because my stuff looked unprofessional so he didn't even bother and then you don't get paid and you waste your time so let's uh, start out what I'm gonna do is have the incorrect way for you to uh, have your paragraph or type typed out here and then at the bottom I'm going to have the correct way I am going to pause the uh, video at times so you don't have to watch me type and then I'll have everything just typed up the correct way and the incorrect way to show you what's good and what's not good so uh, I'm gonna pause now and I'm gonna type in uh, the correct way actually the first thing I wanted to tell you is the definition of typography in case you're like what the hell is he talking about so uh, typography is and I'm reading this off Wikipedia, is the art and technique of arranging type in order to make the language it forms most appealing to transparent learning and recognition. So basically what it means is making your text look cool and appealing. So the first thing that we want to uh, go over is um, having too many typefaces. So I'm going to type out that stuff now and then come back. So see you in a second. All right. So as I said, having too many typefaces looks bad. So what I've got up here on the top, I've got uh, a certain text and then I've got another text that has a typeface that's too, too big. And then I've got a different font here and then here's another font. I hope you guys know what that one is. Please don't use that one. And and then we're going on through more different fonts going on here and you can tell that does not look professional at all so you want to just stick with a uh, one or two fonts and these are the same font and they're in the same font family so what I've got on this one is um, myriad pro and the top uh, section here is bold condensed and then I'm down here and I've got regular and that's what everything else is in, in the in the uh, paragraph so this looks this is correct and uh, this is incorrect so the next one I want to go over is spacing this is a rule where you don't want to crowd your text too much it's hard to read and I mean when you first look at it it's like kind of daunting for everybody you also don't want to space out your text too much because then it just looks like the words aren't like in a sentence together if you can understand that so the correct way is to adjust your spacing so it's in a uh, a visually appealing way if you have a lot of stuff in your text and you can't fit it onto your page you just wanna maybe like select a condensed font or just uh, shrink uh, shrink it down in in a uh, font or size that way you're not like everything has some like breathing room I guess and don't limit it to just your text you you also don't want to have it like right up against the edge of the page you want to give yourself some room so it looks nice nicely spaced the next rule I wanted to go over with you guys is don't use too many fancy decorative fonts so I mean you found one that looks cool 
and you're using it, but don't overdo it. If you look at this real quick, can you uh, read it in like a second and figure out what's going on? Or is this really, really hard to read? Now, if you really needed to uh, use a fancy font, limit your use, like in the correct way here, and just uh, make sure that you're not blasting out uh, all caps and all that stuff. So just uh, pretty much just limit the use of your fancy fonts. They don't need to be used on everything. The next rule that I want to go over is readability. So you want to make sure that people can easily read what's going on and it does not hurt their eyes. So you don't want dark text on top of a dark background. You also don't want like small font on top of a high contrasted background. So it's going to be like hard on someone's eyes. So if you, when you look at this one here, it seems to be like giving you like flashing like in your eyes it's weird looking and I hate it so be careful of going across an item in the background make sure it looks nice on the eyes and um, be aware of your colors that are in the background and make sure that they are like a good color palette so you can figure out what um, looks good together I mean obviously this does not look good together when you're working with a uh, color and I'll just uh, fix these up real quick I have this locked let's just make this like red bright red and the text we can make that like here's a typical thing that people used to do back in the day when we made our like what when people were making their websites and I can make this bigger almost done sorry so here we got some really bright text onto a really bright, bright background and this hurts people's eyes also and uh, to be honest sometimes just black and white for your text is the best because it's not like so crazy bright um, if you're gonna use color I always uh, suggest not having it at full blast so desaturated it a little bit and I'll show you what I'm talking about here if I go to my color picker here the color isn't um, blasted all the way to the end and it's not all the way up to the brightest and it's not down here to the darkest so it's in the middle and it's not like touching the edge of your color picker here